Well, apparently that starter setup won't turn the 12 cylinder over fast enough to start. So, time for a second starter. Well, that's kind of a pain that the starter won't uh, cooperate and crank it over. So as you can see, I've got uh, all 12 cylinders on there now. Four carburetors, all hooked up and timed. So it fires, it doesn't fire any two cylinders at the same time, like, you know, it's got a firing order to it. Some people ask questions on my multi-cylinders, do they all fire at once, or, you know, how does it work? Well, this one, it fires kind of like a V12 would, only one cylinder fires, then the next one, next one is evenly spaced uh, at uh, 12 intervals, intervals per the 720 degree uh, firing cycle there so so I guess it's time to uh, build a uh, starter mount on my flywheel there so I'll be uh, working on that tomorrow maybe uh, get out here uh, getting some dimensions tonight I was looking at it uh, before but the uh, main reason I ended up doing this practically in the dark here was as usual things take longer than normal and uh, it was this middle cylinder here um, I had to put another notch in the bearing mount and just to be able to get the motor in with the starter cover on so uh, and then the other problem was that these two the chain was uh, way too loose uh, the back one wasn't too too bad but these two I had to drill a uh, mount holes oversize and slot them and then I made the chain shorter so uh, it was closer to being short than it was to being long so well you know what i mean it was easier to tighten it on the short side than than on the the uh, longer side so but i took a number of hours work to do i got my uh, stop wires there just sitting loose but anyway one of these days here's hoping we'll get a run out of this 12 cylinder Kind of cool there, the chain's going in X shape. Up to the various motors. So, thanks again for your interest in it. Like I say, I'm fighting hard for a 12 cylinder run here. So, I'm uh, still working on my Tecumseh starter mount here. I got it well underway. You see, I got the gear out and engaged there. I got my cross angle piece here and a shelf. Got a whole bunch of shims. Got the got a sixteenth shim under there in case uh, things don't work out quite as planned. Yeah, gives gives you some room because when you weld stuff, you know it can warp and bad things can happen. Yeah, I see here that I got her too high. It's tipped tipped down, so I got to adjust that. Take a, take a shim out of there or something. My overall height's not right, basically. But what I'm doing, I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, weld a leg under each side of this, establish the height, and then I will shim the starter up until the tooth engages correctly, and uh, then drill my uh, holes through the quarter inch plate there. It's about the simplest way I can think to uh, get it correct. Since I'm really working out in the middle of nowhere here, I don't, I have this cross brace here, but I don't have anything else to fasten to. So I'm going to run a, a vertical up. I cut this short, so I'll run a, a vertical HSS up to the top. And then that'll, they'll tie into that. And I can also run one from the plate uh, down to that. So, if I had to, I could run them front to back, things like that. I don't want it to turn into a pretzel when I try cranking it. So, but unfortunately, we're getting on towards uh, sunset here. And it hasn't been a very good day. Um, threatened rain all day, but I, uh, I have trouble working at night. Uh, one of the main ones is uh, my... Uh, welding helmet 
uh, probably needs new batteries or something because it arc flashes you after dark when you first you got to close your eyes when you first strike it or it uh, it's one of the auto darkening ones of course but um, it, it flashes you until the arc welding light powers it up my son actually put new batteries in one and uh, after he uh, tore it apart because they don't build them so you can do that type of thing but he he, he fixed it and that's what the problem was the, the uh, batteries were uh, dead so when you strike the arc there's nothing there to power it and then the uh, solar cell on it there uh, reacts to the arc flash and fires it up but anyway back to the starter here oh, I can see that yeah the, my blocking is all over the place it's high on the left side but uh, fabric cobbling things like this up always do take time I uh, I don't know if I would have got it done my wife's Ford Focus uh, has a problem too so that ate two hours today but unfortunately the weekends just aren't long enough I have the engine ready to run and as you saw in the starting attempt there my uh, direct drive starter just doesn't have the didn't eat enough Wheaties yesterday morning to uh, turn it over fast enough to start so that's why I got to have a second starter here and I built this with the provision that if I have to I can put a third one on and there's the center line so it's yeah so not taking any chances here and I also I also backed it up so that I can if I have to go with Briggs starters instead I can uh, put a larger flywheel on and uh, have room have room for that here I try to try to think a little bit ahead sometimes if I can uh, on these projects because uh, you know if I got locked into one position of this thing and uh, by making it higher and and uh, that then bad things happen if you ever have to change it you got to do a lot of cutting and hacking so uh, this way hopefully I, I wouldn't have to do that now of course if I go with the uh, 24 cylinder which would take the whole end of this frame here then then all this starter stuff would be coming out because the then the flywheel would go on the end of cylinder number 24 instead but I have a, uh, a car flywheel uh, made for that since it's it would take something like that to uh, the crank anyway once again I appreciate your uh, your interest in this and I'm sorry I couldn't uh, couldn't get uh, the starter finished and get it running this weekend I hear we're in for some bad weather this weekend so here's hoping I can get her done before winter because uh, I'm like the rest of you guys I, I want to hear this 12 uh, cylinder run after all these uh, man hours going into it so everybody take care for now thanks again